I'm telling you what, man. I'm hoping for something juicy. Is this juicy? Is this going to be a juicy Ricada clip? I saw a preview of it. I, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, Nick is talking about his CPS stuff. Ooh, well, well, I mean, let's get in here. Let's do it, man. I'm not normally... Like the one thing I know about. ...doing. Uh, Oddly Because enough. It, I have to talk very carefully about my own personal issues. Uh, do you now? Because... <laughs> I want... Court. I wonder why that is. ...is ongoing. Mm -hmm. And so I have it's to be ongoing, very careful. Is it? But I do want to correct something that is uh, what I'll call a misunderstanding something. of Minnesota law. Yeah. That uh, that was. Oh, what he's going to explain only, only, only matters in Minnesota. Okay. No other state it, can relate to this very strange and peculiar law. Like, no. Released yesterday. Yeah. All right. It was released. So uh, yeah. if you have not heard some I mean, you like documents. That. Documents really in my case over getting uh, released. It's amazing. It's very, very uh, interesting how that keeps happening. But that being <laughs> said. <laughs> that is a question. That is a question your lawyer should probably explore because these leaks most definitely should not be happening at all. Like the documents being leaked are not documents you could just request. Okay. Not at all. Not at all. Um, it's, <laughs> dude, like, dude, the, like, if his attorney is paying attention to filing who these people are, maybe they can make a case with the family law side, a family, uh, the CPS side that it's um, it's with prejudice. But good luck on that because that's the argument just about every family that gets roped into CPS tries to make, and it usually fails. All right, let's go. Um, particular set of documents came out, and people yeah. don't understand how Minnesota law works. Okay. So I will politely correct them because no one should know this yeah this is only pertaining no to Minnesota one should law. know how this works uh yeah yeah goody this stream is actually not live on rumble because rumble thinks i have a stream going somewhere i don't know where it is but they just do <laughs> um but people don't understand how minnesota family law rumble is trying to protect you rumble's like no you gotta stop streaming sir you're gonna say something you shouldn't say works in juvenile protection matters so i'm going to explain it in very uh high level no specifics okay. about my case high level because i want people to understand what they're seeing a little bit yeah help me a understand bit. so what was released or leaked in my case are what's called long-term placement plans and minnesota has a rule in child custody only matters. minnesota minnesota has a timer a very i'm gonna tell you right now this doesn't only apply to just minnesota Texas has a timer too. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to bet all states have a timer. Uh, 365 days. They have a year. When CPS takes your kids into custody, they have a year. But really what that means is they have a year to get the family to cooperate, to work through the drug test, do all the things they need to do to show that they're safe and low risk. To show that they're safe. Because to place the kids back, the state has to show, has to feel confident that the kids are definitely going to be safe there. No other additional intakes are going to come in. And if they do, oh boy, oh boy, it's the removal's going to be all on the uh, high priority. Okay. It's going to be a, a, a ready option. So... And within those 365 days, the family does not cooperate. That's not the fault of CPS. As long as CPS could show they made efforts, just document those efforts. And if the family doesn't cooperate and continuously do not cooperate, well, then it's not like, oh, 365 days passed, you get your kids back. No, it's, oh, well, we tried. Your Honor, we tried for a year to get them to straighten out and work well but he just doesn't care he would rather just uh, snort blow and you know it's just not good but we tried oh and you know what the judge would be like oh shucks give him back the kids it's been a year no no he's gonna be like mm, well is that placement uh, where, where the kids are at now good or they need to be placed somewhere else well we could talk about that
So, yeah, what the creator is saying is very relatable to just about every state. I guarantee you your state's the same way. Very strict timer. That by 364 days from the time that a child is removed from parents' custody, the government has to have already made all of their decisions about what... Um, no. <laughs> I mean, there's... They already know, like, what good direction... Well, not really the direction, the options... Like what the possibilities are. Yes. Like that is considered for sure. But at first it's about reunification. At least the efforts. What will happen with the child? So what they do is to get around the fact that doing all this takes a lot of time. And some people will be like compliant for a long time and then screw up at the end or be really big screw ups at the beginning and be compliant at the end. They have to go ahead and do what's called concurrent planning. So what you have is what's happening in reality. And then the government also has to generate these long-term care plans. Typically okay, let me tell you something right now. What's happening in reality? The CPS stuff, they're documenting everything they do. Like the interactions they have with the family, with the family members, they're documenting all that. I don't know what program they use in Minnesota. But in Texas, it's a program called Impact. They document everything. They do their assessments there, the safety plan, uh, safety assessments, risk assessments, all that stuff. And not everything in there will make it to court. And it's weird he says the government. When when he says the government, I, I wonder if he's talking about what you see like in the court now in the legal filings or what you see on the CPS side and that's it. It's, he's not very clear when actually it would still be the government regardless, you know. Uh, but, yeah, the long-term care plan, you're not going to see every little piece of what's happening necessarily, but you're going to see the summation of it. You're going to see what matters, the highlights of it. Um, Like, for example, how many drug tests were offered? How many times was uh, Nick presented with a drug test and how many times did he actually follow through and taking them? How many times did he uh, prevent them from uh, seeing the results? Those sorts of things would be uh, there. So, yeah, um, Nick is really just gaslighting. He's really just making a bunch of bull crap is what he's doing uh, to make it sound like it's something that it's not when it actually is what it is. Um, it's OK. He's just digging himself with a shovel. That's it. Just digging a hole. Out of placement or out of home placement plans in the event that they need to keep the children for longer than this 364 day timeline. Okay. They have to have this filed and there are deadlines. Our deadline for the government filing those plans in my case was July 9th, which is why they were filed on that date. Now, what people erroneously think, and this again is not anyone's fault because you wouldn't know this. Normally, you'd never even see this shit. No one would true. see this shit in a normal case, but yeah. it's me, so it's not normal. <laughs> That's true, though. Someone in that courthouse, dude, someone in the Department of Family Protective Services, what are they called over there, has it out for Nick. I swear to God. And, and you know what, too? You're never going to find out who that person is. You're never going to find out who that person is. Oh, because the communication is so, like, when you communicate with CPS, I don't care what state it is, but when you're talking with them, you know it. You know it. Like, you can't talk to them. They talk to you, right? They talk to you. They tell you what to do. You try to talk to them. They don't even listen. They're not even, they don't even, no, no. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! And, and you gotta—I gotta tell you something, man, dude. Like the departments are messy. Oh, there's people with vendettas. There's people with grudges. That stuff happens. I, I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. I swear on my honor. It's not like I've never seen that stuff. But I'll do it for a paycheck. <laughs> so someone definitely. On the government payroll.
<laughs> Taxpayer money, Minnesota. How's it up for Ricada? <laughs> that sucks, bro. That sucks, man. Uh, it's really it's really bad to be you right now. Normally what would happen is these plans would be filed, but yeah. there's also what's actually going on, which isn't actually filed. And I know that sounds weird, but that's because there's no necessity of filing it. So people well, because one, it's probably in a particular program and they would have to like print out those documents, put them in another file or write to put it in an affidavit or whatever it is. Uh, not everything gets, uh, yeah, not, not, not every piece of documentation is going to make it into the main thing, but the highlights definitely will. Actually, wait, hold on. Wait, that's bull crap. No, 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 but no, no. What are you saying? Dude, it's, it's been, it's been years. It's been years. Actually, actually. Those, that long-term plan is going to include all the investigations. Like, oh, I mean, like all the intakes and the investigations with their, with all the documentation in it and then the findings. Now, there might be some things that might be there. No, no, no. It's all, it's all going to be there. It's all going to be there. I was saying it might not be there, but it's all going to be there. Because that... If it is really what he's saying, the long-term placement plan, whatever, it's going to have everything about that client there. All right. So, yeah. It, 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 so, this is complete bull, bull crap. This is, this, like, this is dumb. Like, he's just lying to you. He's straight up lying to you. People automatically, they saw these documents, and some people assumed that these long-term care plans were the actual trajectory. That is the, tra dude, that is the trajectory. If you don't, if you don't cooperate, that is what's going to happen. That's what that is. The reason why I re reached to that level is because they saw what you do. You're not cooperating. You're not letting them actually uh, use the drug test, or you're not, you're not. Oh my God! Every time, every time. You know, there's stages with CPS. There's the investigation side. There's the family base side and there's the conservatorship side and when you get to that level and the kids the children's been removed they don't really have the patience to play with you all year long what they're going to do is they'll they'll try to work with you in the beginning if you don't cooperate they're already go long-term placement all right i mean Dude, honestly, they're just going to do that anyway because they know the chances are high. You're probably not going to cooperate. But, hey, if you do, okay. Well, hopefully you do. Hopefully you do. But from what we've seen, it doesn't look like you are because it looks like they're moving forward, moving through with some of these ideas, some of these, these uh, plans here. And I wonder why. For the placement of my children i can happily say that that's not true because these long-term care plans uh, I, I can happily say it probably no 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 it is true like you still you you are required to have supervised visitation like that is true and it is true that there's a chance your kids can be placed uh permanently there that, that is true too based on how you cooperate and what you do it's all on you that's all it is uh, you can blame the government all you want, but you got in the situation um, and, and because of your own actions. Like when CPS says they need to check out the home, oh, yeah, you might as well just let me check out the home. They say take this drug test. Oh, you got to take that drug test. You got to show those results. Like you got to straighten up. And you want to try to fight this in court? You want to try to fight this in court? And actually tell the judge you're safe and fit for the kids when CPS will have the documentation to prove otherwise? Who, who do you think they're going to side with, Rakeda? You can't honestly believe you think they'll side with you. You, you must have never practiced family law, especially not against the CPS worker. What? Because, because you are you you are the client 
You are the client that is just, uh, dude, you are set to have your kids removed and have your, if you don't change your ways, man, you're on that path. I don't want to say because I hope it, I don't want it to go there, but you, but you make your own bed in life. If you don't change your ways, your parental rights are going to be severed. Too bad, so sad. Uh, Mr. Chief of Tom Fullery. Horrifying. Uh, they have nothing to do with where we are right now. Now, obviously, I can't talk about any of this stuff, obviously, any of the dates or you anything are. like that. Uh -huh. But just know that my children will be returning home much sooner than people think. And I get, again, I'm not faulting people for misunderstanding the law, misunderstanding the documents that they're seeing and misunderstanding the process. And for coming up with very, very negative conclusions about me because they only get one side of the story and I have two options. I can try and sell you my side of the story and possibly jeopardize or compromise my own case. I could do that. Or I can do all my talking in court outside of very specific factual matters that I can, uh, that, that don't have any impact. And for me to say that these long-term care plans were filed on July 9th, because that's when the timeline Dude, was. What's his plan? <laughs> okay. He's so confident that things are going to be resolved. He's so confident he's going to get his kids back. <laughs> Dude. Dude, if he gets his kids back, I, I will I will have to say Rakeda won. Legitly. If Rakeda gets his kids back, I'd be like, Rakeda won. Yeah, you know, he's uh he's awesome. He's number one. He's like the best uh CPS lawyer you're gonna need, okay? <laughs> Dude, no. No. No, I've seen this this uh, this attitude before, this ego. This this Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad to see him like that. He's a CPS parent now. He's a CPS. He's a case dad now. <laughs> That's his life. He's a junkie CPS dad. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God, dude. I, like this, this attitude, this sense of smugness, like, like, like he knows how it's going to play out. And let me tell you something. I, the clients are like that. They're like that all the way, even before the judge. And they will try to go toe to toe with the judge. And that does not play well. That never plays well. I. Was. And that we are nowhere near that long term care trajectory. In fact, uh -huh. we have a much faster timeline. Oh, you're There's nothing off. wrong with oh, me saying that. Oh. Now, of course, anything you're fast tracking it, huh? can change, right? Like this is child custody and the government has a lot of leeway. For example, if I go on, probably going to change the timeline. A lot of was clipped out there. <laughs> they, shout out to TV's Will here and I know nothing about that channel. What they got does. I guess uh, thumbs up and subscribe to, for that. And move go. towards that other uh, long term planning. But assuming everything remains the same, it won't be anywhere near that. So I just uh -huh. wanted to clear that up because yeah. I know like some, there's some people out there who just genuinely don't understand Minnesota family law, especially juvenile protection. It's a Dude, what you just said, I could totally not understand or relate to. <laughs> oh man, this only applies to Minnesota, the mysterious Minnesota law about CPS. And no, that's crazy, man. They tell me they have a year to work with you. <laughs> okay. Highly specialized practice area. Uh -huh. And if you're not in it, you're just not going to know. Oh, and yeah. You're, you're not in the club. You're not, not going to know, man. Yeah. There's okay. some other like fat, lumpy retards out there who are reading documents thinking that, you know, thinking that they're making some sort of bold statement and they're Kinda making gassy there, Rikita. Those wouldn't be whiskey burps, would they? grandiose stuff while trying to deflect from their own problems yeah like those people are out there too you'll have to figure out who those people are uh i just yeah. know that generally speaking that happens uh-huh but in my case i i also know the truth and unfortunately 
for Dude, me. You don't even know the truth. You lied to yourself so much. You don't even believe it. You're like, Your Honor, that wasn't Coke. That wasn't blow. That was a powdered sugar on my nose. Uh, my daughter had a big bag of those uh, little donuts, the powdered sugar. I just, you know, I like the nose dive in that stuff. It, it's tasty. Yeah, I guess. No, no, actually, his excuses, his things could be like, actually, that was not my blow. That was Aaron's blow. <laughs> All of it was Aaron's. Is I can't share that truth with you until everything's locked down. Uh -huh. Until the court cases are resolved. Yeah. It's just too damn risky. Oh, and in yeah, fact, I can't even really talk about people in these cases mm -hmm. and the shit that I've uh, seen happen or the, the shit that has been done. Yeah. People saying stuff either public. I know, right? I know the feeling. I know the feeling, especially on the other side. Can't talk about any of it. Can't, can't, can't. It has to be in secret sauce. Can't even, can't even really stream. It'd be crazy to like stream at night in some sort of shock jock fashion. Oh, during the day, be a CPS worker. That'd be so wild. <laughs> like what? Like living a double life there, right? <laughs> oh man, man. But um, <sighs> as I'm saying, is that I've heard this before. I've seen this before. It's so crazy. I'm getting, I'm getting flashbacks, man. Like I feel like my phone's gonna ring and be like, um, we have a, we have a crisis over here. Okay or privately, I can't talk about any of that because any of these potential witnesses that are out there, obviously I can't make anything that could be no. seen in any way as some sort of intimidation or threat or, yeah, or whatever. Gotta, no gotta gotta matter if down. they do it or not, I can't because the government will fist me. Oh yeah, they will. So when people are, I was talking to a friend, they're like, well, you could share your side of the story like just on these things. And I'm like, no, I, I actually can't. I can't talk about no, any of yeah, this. Yeah, gotta stuff. be quiet. I do have to let people just kind of say what they're gonna say, and it sucks, but that's the wise thing to do. So again, there are obviously exceptions. I've talked, like even today, I've talked about something in my case. But what I'm talking about is highly specific, specifically fact oriented, and a general principle of Minnesota law. And I'm happy to say that uh, people's speculation about Dude, that was a crisis right now. I'd be like, whoa, 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 you take care of that. You take care of that. <laughs> you take care of that priority one. About that, while again, founded by, uh, founded in their own knowledge and their own access uh -huh. to information is fine. It just happens to be incorrect. Man, just so. a bunch of bluff. Um, but all that, uh, bunch of you know, bullshit. those updates will come as uh -huh. as reality settles into place. And uh, court sure cases will. are wrapped up. And it'll be great. So. You know what? It doesn't look like he really believes that. He's saying, he's saying that everything's going to work out. But he does. he's not smiling. He's not very gleeful about and this. court cases are wrapped up. And it'll be Seems very serious, which normally when Rakeda is like really excited, no, really confident in something, he's not like this. He's much more, um, well, I, I said earlier, gleeful. Like he's like, you know, like he excited that he's going to win because he really believes he will. This is, he's not so sure about this because he's not. He, he is, he, I'm guessing his argument is like the, uh, you don't have a right to test me on this. You don't know with cocaine, all this stuff. And be like, um, your honor. <laughs> um, look at this police report. <laughs> and and Ricardo will be like, uh, that's a fruit of a poison tree. Use a use an argument, which that that that's not going to work. Like, they're not going to go down that argument. That is so stupid. I've seen that play before. I've seen them try to do that. Uh, like, they'll argue with the judge, be like, uh, how can you use that evidence when it comes from another matter? And the, the cop will be right there to testify. The cop who tested it will be out there, right there to testify. Um, if you need a uh, lab expert to test the drug, they'll be there to testify. And they will be like, oh, that was a question the tests and all that stuff. Like, the government will do that. They will do that. They will bring on their witnesses. They will ask. 
and the judge will say, uh, pound sand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I heard enough. <laughs> Great. So cheers to all of you though, for taking such an interest in, uh, in my life. Um, again, Hey, I Hey, it's fair play. Everyone in this sector, we, we care a lot about each other's lives. Okay. It just is that. I mean, sometimes you guys will throw a dollar so I can feed my kids McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> no, and one time we cared about some cat or some, uh, I don't know, some furry. Uh, no, I don't want to talk about that guy. No, but this sector talks a lot about people's lives. That's kind of what we do. It's kind of what happens here. I really hope, I really hope that one day I yeah. get to tell the entire story in some yeah. capacity. Be amazing. Um, unshackled by the specter of lawsuits that are that are ongoing so yeah um in the meanwhile I'm, I'm not begrudging people their opinions i'm not begrudging people their conclusions i can't i can't offer up arguments against them so sorry but i appreciate you guys watching hanging out making fun of me or not it's okay by the way is that it you know it's uh it, there's it's, more to this clip it's really funny it's like it's not funny None of this is actually funny. You have to understand that, like, when I say... Oh, no. It, it's it's pretty funny, dude. It's it's pretty funny. I would say it's more funny than, than sad or serious because it's your choices. Like, you, you are making these choices, and these are the consequences you have to deal with. You know, it's really funny, and I'm talking about, like, the plight of my situation. That's not an actual literal thing. That's like a... <laughs> there's a... In my mouth. <laughs> hilarious <laughs> that was Ricada's true thoughts were there that's how he really feels on the inside but with that uh what's funny is finding out like people who have this villain picture of you akin to a Chris Benoit and you're like that's insane but people believe that and you're like really you're new I'm not that? talking about the weirdo like internet people like d forgive me yeah you weirdos you know who you are like, there are people out there who will say stuff. Well, I mean, and they you, might you did mean some it. crazy stuff, and the kids were involved, man. And they might not. Course, it's like somewhere between as a parody satire and just shitting on me, and, like, they may not actually believe it. Or, or Ricada, you're not a hero. Uh, tell, and that's fun. Not a winner. I'm not talking about those people. But when you, like, start to find out uh, some stuff about, like, what people think about you when yeah. you've been, like, entirely good to them, it's like, God damn. Oh, 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 so you've been friends for a long time, but they find out that you're having coke parties with the kids there in the house. Yeah, bro. Bro, that, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> that's going to be a huge problem there. Yeah. Well, that sucks. I Speaking bet it of, does. Uh, great fathers. Chris Benoit says Aaron has been losing his mind in a downward spiral mentally. How long? Well, that's Aaron's problem. How long do you think until he goes postal? Again, I'm not commenting anything about Aaron. Oh, he's gonna try to use Aaron for for I I dude. There's a play there. He's gonna be desperate he's gonna try. He is his own man. He gets uh -huh. to say whatever he wants. I hope he makes a million dollars. I hope he makes a million dollars. <laughs> man, this clip was insane. First time checking this out. Man, this brought back memories of work that I really did not want to re-experience. Oh my! Oh my! Oh, man. Nick actually thinks that those long-term placement plans aren't going to apply to him. He actually thinks that people will believe that the information in those plans have nothing to do with actually what's going on. Okay there, buddy. Caseworkers are lazy. That, that is true. Like, that would take the least amount of effort to get to something. That is true. Because, well, lazy. Hold on. Let me just say this. There's a bunch of cases, guys. They they rain in. It's crazy. And you're only one guy. And you have to figure out what to do. Okay? You can't be in two places at once. you got to try to make sense of things. And you're always drowning. Casework is horrible. Don't ever do it. Honestly, that that's like, that's hell. That's hell. That is hell. And honestly, let me tell you something. You hate yourself for doing it too. Because man, it just takes your soul. It really does. But Ricada wants us to believe 
Those placement plans have nothing to do with what's going on. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. They definitely do. You think you're going to get your kids back? If you get your kids back, I tell you what, Nick. I tell you what, Riketa. I will say you are the number one lawyer on YouTube. I'll say you're the best. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'll get, I'll get your picture. I'll put it right there. Your picture will, will replace the tiger picture. That's what I'll do. I'll do that. But it's not going to happen. You're not getting your kids back. You're not getting your kids back. Oh, I really hope he doesn't. <laughs> no, I'm pretty confident in that. You're not getting your kids back, brother. Uh, it just is what it is. Unless you straighten up, brother. With that said, you guys take it easy and have a good one.